Hi everyone, my name is Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. In this episode I'm going to show you my final adjustments for beauty retouch, uh, but it can be for every kind of retouch. If you're not doing beauty retouch, it's okay. If you don't want to do retouch, but you want to improve your portrait image, these adjustments I'm going to show you in this episode will be absolutely useful for you. If you want to create some really natural and beautiful effect, that's the best way how to do this. And some time ago, I was using a bit more things, but recently I fall in love with selective colors and I do a really huge amount of work using selective colors in Photoshop because I believe it's super powerful and it can replace many other adjustments and it gives absolutely fantastic results. So let's start with it. Like, look at the image, it's actually the final result of um, the retouch I've done and the course, the premium course is available with 81% discount. So if you want to know some details, just check in the description, there is a coupon code for you and you can get this course. It's six hours course and I recommend, really amazing, but in this episode, I'm going to show you final adjustment I did in just part of this premium course. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select color at first and I'm going to zoom this image a little bit. So what you can see, we have some of the red colors here. So I'm going to start to work with red. And what I do, I'm usually looking what fits the best for me. Uh, I'm not sure how was the adjustment, but it doesn't really matter because you can see the image and find the color that actually works well for the lips or this pink over here. I'm going to try with magenta. So I like, I think I like when I take it a little bit down or I'm going to see like that. So I like the color I've got, maybe a bit more red. And then I'm going to go with yellow. So have a look how this image looks like. And the thing you can notice, it's a bit warmer. And the pink on the uh, face is a bit warmer. So I kind of like this adjustment. So that's the first step. So okay. So as we have layer mask over here, I'm going to invert the color on the layer mask. And I'm going to paint over it. Flow very strong because I only want to paint over leaves. If you want to know how does it looks like, not yet because of course I didn't have white color. When we have layer mask with color black, we have to paint over with color white. So that is carefully, but don't worry, you won't do many mistakes because the thing is we don't have any red colors around. So have a look how that it looks like. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just paint over the leaves and a bit more visible. The same thing, but this time I'm going to pull down the flow into a bit soften, maybe sized brush. Or they have hard edged brush, so it's okay. I'm just going to paint over a little bit here. Not too much, as you can see, and there is already difference. We can notice it's a bit warmer. We got this nice red color up. So that's the first step I'm doing. And then we can have a look once again on the image. I probably want to sort out a little bit of the colors over here. So let's go into selective color once again, and I'm going with natural color. So when we see natural colors, now zoom this a bit more, open selective color, and let's have a look how does it work for us. I don't want such a cold color, so I think I'm going to pull down some science because this one maybe, or pull up some of the science because it's actually look better than this warm color. And then let's go with magenta. Of course, we don't want this much magenta, so I'm going to pull it down. Around three, once again here. And about yellows. I don't want this portrait to be yellow. So once again, I'm going to take it down. So very small change, have a look. And I really like this look. It's way colder, but it's much more classy than before. In this case, I'm just going to change maybe opacity. If you don't want this to be that strong, it's totally fine. 
and I want to keep the natural color of the hair. One thing is, if we can do this, when I go into the yellows, I want to see if I can pull up some of the yellow color. So I can do this a little bit, and I want to sort it out. Let's have a look. No, I don't really think it will work that well. So I'm going to stay with zero and just paint over here with the color black on the hair because we don't want to change the hair color. So it's all about adjusting the colors. So you can actually see how really useful selective color is. It's going to paint over here and we got this nice color of the face, a bit colder. And that's something I really like. The other one, I'm just going to create selective color once again. I'm going to take down yellows. But it's only about the hand, because I wonder the hand has too much yellow color. So I'm just going to invert the layer mask and paint over. So as you can see, the, the main thing about selective color, I'm just taking off the colors I don't like and improving colors I like. It's okay. Once again, I did huge mistake because I was paint with color white on it. So as you can see, all about selective colors is removing colors that are not suitable for the image and improving colors that look very well. So okay, that's pretty much it. Maybe one more thing you could do, you could improve a little bit of the hair or something like that, or even improve the white colors. We, we can have a look. If I'm going to pull up some of the yellow color. Right. And about white, I'm going to take down or actually bring up some of the white color and that that's something I really like. So let's have a look right now. I'm going to invert this once again. First of all, I'm going to paint on the hair. So I think they might get a little bit yellowish. And the other thing I'm going to do with this soft brush, I'm going to paint over here. I think this area just, it's nice if it will be a bit widened. But this last step was pretty much optional, but I like this color I've got a bit more. All of this I'm going to put into the group, Control command g selective color, that's how I'm going to call this. And the next step I'm doing in my final adjustments is working with curves. So there's a few things that curves actually helped me with. First, the thing that curves helped me with and selective colors actually helps me with it as well. If we're going to work with the white color a little bit, we can improve some of the shadows over here. And it's really great to work with curves as well. And first of all, sort out some of the contrasts. I add a bit strong contrast, but it doesn't matter because we actually can take down some of the opacity. And that's actually a different story right now. When we take down opacity, this image starts to look very nice. So I'm going to stay with 30%. It looks very suitable. Then shadows are a bit stronger. Of course, in selective color, you can always try with color blacks and pull them on. As you can see, they can give you some really nice colors, but you have to be really careful to not destroy this, to not go too far. You can try with whites and with whites, of course, you can always try to pull up some of the whites of the image. So there's always an option. It might be too strong, so I'm going to take it down. Next step of curves is you can do a little bit of the color correction. The thing I don't like, I think this contrast just did too much to my hair. So once again, I'm just going to clean up the hair.
because I think I don't want to change them too much. I really like the color they have. So next step with the curves. I like to work with this blue mod, something like this, something very soft. It's way too strong right now. And of course, once again, take down opacity quite much to make this look natural, okay. And we can think about the last thing, actually. If you can find some of the spots that could be whitened or something like that, you can create a curve layer. It's always optional, like if you don't do enough job for Dutch and Burn or something like that, you can just pull up some curve, Control command i to invert this, and with very soft brush and really low flow, color white, of course, as I inverted this right now, you can paint over a little bit. Just a bit over here to bring up some of the white color. You can do a little bit on the face to bring up some of the white color. So that's actually how I do work with my final adjustments. I don't do anything complicated. As you can see, I'm using just, it's okay to use, you can use more, of course, but it's totally okay if you're going to use just few basic things. So I'm going to put this to the group and these two groups into other group. Just to show you what's the difference. It will be very soft different. That's before and that's after. We, at the end, we got more contrast. We got more shadows, really nice white colors. If you think it's a bit too strong, just take down opacity. And I really love this effect. I really love the power that selective colors gives me, that curves gives me, and there's no need to do that much as we might think. At the end, if you see maybe something's not suitable, etc., you can always work with opacity and other things to sort out the contrast. So I think it's pretty much okay. I will love this effect, as I said, and I hope you're going to enjoy. If you want to know a bit more about Beauty Retouch, please check the descriptions, because there is huge discount for my premium course, uh, probably the best price you can find all over the web, and as well as I'm giving you a lot of resources, like actions, fantastic soft brush, and few other things. Thank you for watching, and see you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial.